man. Ah, you fellas, what up? What up? No. Yeah, flow. 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 Yeah, And the full view starts now with Zimbabwe. With just hours before Zimbabweans head to the polls, former President Robert Mugabe has addressed media here at his Blue Roof residence. On the eve of the presidential election, the former president appeared before the media in Harare at a surprise press conference. Ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends, I was sacked from the party I founded when 
tanks rolled through and across the country. I was regarded now as an enemy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I will take a few questions. I just want to find out, former president, you indicated that uh, the current administration used the army to get the power. But uh, some detractors are saying uh, the same happened during your era. It was not the army that ensured I remained in power. You are wrong on that one. We had e elections every five years. Every five years. <laughs> Further team BBC News. Would you prefer to see the opposition win tomorrow rather than see E.D. Menangagwa return to power? Oh, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> I must say very clearly, I cannot vote for those who have tormented me. No. I can't. So what, what is there? I think it's just Chamisa. <laughs> what he said was that he could not vote for the ruling party led by President Manangagwa. And what he has done is he's really grabbed the spotlight today. In fact, he's, he's milked it. There is no campaigning today. There are no rallies, no political rallies. And he's endorsed basically Nelson Chamisa. It is a significant moment. Yes, Mugabe has spoken. He has said that I'm voting for the young man. But you see, when, when your enemy gives you a hug and a kiss, you just have to be careful that they, there's no bite in the kiss. You know, this is where we need your statesmanship in Africa. And the mood is massive. Uh, it's in the bag, but we just have to be very vigilant because there, there are things around the ballot papers we need to be sure about and also around the uh, you know, ballot staffing. Uh, um, these guys um, are, are rather on the wrong side, so we just want to be sure that things are being done properly. Voters lined up well before sunrise in Harare, waiting for hours for their opportunity to vote in this election. They are desperate for change. Zimbabwe is holding its first election in the post-Robert Mugabe era who was removed last year by the military after dominating the political scene for decades. Many see this as a step for the country to move in a new direction after nearly 40 years of dictatorship. Emerson Munangagwa is seen as the front runner with the backing of the ruling ZANU PF party. The main challenge will come from Nelson Chamisa, the 40 year old leader of the opposition, the movement for democratic change. Mr. Chamisa must be a oh, yes, we'll do the interview outside. Mr. Chamisa, how does it feel to have cast your ballot here this morning? Well, it's a great moment for Zimbabwe. A vote for freedom, a vote for democracy, a vote for a new Zimbabwe, a vote for the genuine new. Both the process for campaigning was peaceful. The voting today is peaceful. I have no doubt that the end process of the entire electoral process will remain peaceful. Okay. All right. Dr. Nkuleleko, the president's spokesperson, will address this place. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. 
the president has a very, very clear message to the people in the country and in the world. Let us all be polling agents. If you see any irregularities or pre-marked ballots, immediately report these and demand a clean ballot. Don't go away without casting your vote. Can, can I ask a favor from you? If you could just send me a WhatsApp message, because I'm having a lot of uh, calls coming through. So what we're going to do is we're going to be entering the results bay polling station. Okay. And it, this is a check variable. Okay. If we have any figure at all here, it means there is something wrong somewhere. Somewhere. Okay. The, bet, the earlier we get the picture, the better. The more important is the data. Okay. 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 Counting has started in what some are calling Zimbabwe's historic election. Electoral authorities say that the turnout was high, with more than 5 million having registered to cast their votes. The votes have been cast and are now being counted for Zimbabwe's first general election since last year's ousting of the country's long-serving president, Robert Mugabe. Magura High School, these are all rural constituencies. These are wards. These results will be correct. Yeah. Wards will have yeah. results by now. And look, we're winning. Those results are correct. Doc, yes, yes. I'm looking for. How are you, sir? Uh, good, good, sir. What's happening? What's happening? Yeah. We are winning. That's winning, what is yeah? happening. Yes. Doc, do you have, do you have, you Doc, do you have a problem with winning? No, I have no problem I, with I winning. I thought that was the reason why that I was, winning. Yeah, yeah, that is the main reason. <laughs> hey, good. Ah, good, good, great. What is it like the advocate? <laughs> 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 what can happen to you? I have to declare the victory. My body wants to rest my mind. I'm telling you. It's looking good. So we are sitting here and what we will be doing is uh, look at the results uh, as they come through. Uh, and when we think you need to know, we'll let you know. <laughs> yes, I mean Mombo Zorora president. Yes, thank you. <laughs> no, I'm saying the position is similar. We, we will be claiming victory at an appropriate time, okay? But timing of it is critical. I need to reconcile that with our team's position here. Okay, I will get back to you. The commission would like to thank the Zimbabwean electorate for exercising their right to vote in peace and would like to urge Zimbabweans to be patient as they wait for the results. We are just about to become the most important team in this country in a few hours. In the event that we win, if the numbers come our way, right, the official numbers from SEC, if they come our way, we are no longer talking politics, we are talking reality, but we cannot really be sure about what kind of reaction we are going to get from the system. It could be anything from police action, Military action, we are on our own. Our problem is that we have won elections before. We have failed to claim victory. And if we fail to do that, we are going back to 2013, we are going back to 2008. We must confine ourselves and talk about what we're going to do to ensure that the victory, uh, the victory doesn't, doesn't fly away. Like you said, Chair, we are here looking at all possible outcomes because we are looking at advising in all possible outcomes. Because we are not going to be reactionary to ZANPF, we are going to be prepared for anything. No one must announce elect election results except ZEC. To take power from ZANPF, these are ZANLA gorillas right. that are in chair. power. This, this, these these are military. And I've never seen it anywhere where you try to juggle it within the legal. If people are not going to prepare to die, to go to prison, to go to jail, you're not going to take power from this regime, believe me or not. We need extraordinary boldness tonight. Yes. Um, somebody might get killed. Um, but you know, so many people 
over the years have laid down their lives uh, for for the sake of this country, and and I'm prepared to do that tonight. I think we have to claim the victory by addressing a press conference. Um, we have shared some some insights on how on how we can do it. We can't say we've won this election. There is no evidence best whatsoever. There is evidence. There is nothing concrete now. No, there's evidence. Comrades, I'm sure. I think that the problem is that they're not satisfied. Gracias.